OFW. Here's a good invention. The pill. That's a good invention. Just for the fact that everybody here... Yeah, you little sluts. Please welcome to the show, oh. Gary Goldman. There Thank you, you. Thank you. Jeez, good crowd there. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sluts happened. in the crowd. Huh? <laughs> Love <awesome>. that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. No. You know what? That's why they made the pill. So yeah. the, but you were on tour with Dane Cook at that point, so I bet there was I, a lot of sluts in the crowd. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shocker. Jeez, a lot of, yeah, a lot of college, college girls, but we had to get right on a bus after every gig. Oh. Seriously? Yeah, and drive nine hours to the next gig. So there was no, no lap uh, dances. There was no hanky panky, as the unbelievable as the old folks say. And that had to, that had to be wild because you know Dane is one of the few comics that's been able to go in and fill arenas. You know, people can say what they want about Dane, but the guy, man, I mean, he's it's, done what very few comics have been able to do. Oh, it's remarkable. I've I've been lucky enough to you know open for him at like Madison Square Garden and some of the other places, and it's just it, well, it's like being an apostle. It's, it's <laughs> not uh, you can, people are, people are always like, uh, do you get a lot of action in the well? You know, most of them are there to see Jesus, so it's, it's hard. It's, you, you can almost see where Judas would be like, you know. Know what? I'd like to get some action once in a while here. And, yeah, oh, it was. Uh, and you hatched a plan. <laughs> yeah. Sympathy for Judas. Hey, Dane, I got to hear. No, really, come over for a second. Got some new yogurt you got to try. Uh, but yeah, just knock them out for a few hours so I could partake. I'll yeah. tell you, you know, Gary, it's got to be cool though because you know I know the other side to stand up comedy. It is grueling when yeah. you're starting out. You know, you got other comics who really don't have the ability, but still are, if you will, they're in the upper echelon when you're. Sure. Starting out and they treat you like crap. Yeah. There's a lot of jealousy, whatever. So it's I think it's so great that you get to be part of a real live Sam Kinison ish like experience oh, yeah. where the, you know you're out there playing huge, huge concert places. Yeah, it, it was awesome. It was a, it was a real honor. Of course, my you know my ego got the best of me on certain nights where it's just <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah well, it, it's just nice. it's exhausting to go 28. I think it was 28 days, 25 different shows. And it's like, uh, you, and then you have to sign autographs for three hours, and the people there are not in line to meet me, so it's just... <laughs> You're just keeping a seat yeah, warm. Yeah, it was just uh, nice to meet you and everything. I'll, I'll yeah, keep your seat warm for a <laughs> <laughs> so Was there a point where you realized, oh my God, I'm losing it? Like, I, I can't believe I just snapped like that. Uh, just one or two times, just because, uh, you know, sometimes the audiences were, were just waiting for, for Dane, and it, and it was, uh, they were a little rowdy, but um, for the most part, his audiences are really, really terrific. And, and, uh, and a lot of women. I mean, oh that's the that's the thing. It's so oh, hard. Yeah. You know, it's so hard for a comic to be able to really reach women to the way, to the level that he has. Oh my god! And yeah. It's very Abercrombie and Fitch too. You <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's yeah because usually the the men without having the men resent you and be like, oh, this guy's a jerk and he's gonna steal my girlfriend and, and things like that. Oh, it's definitely. Like, yeah, so he yeah. gets both sides of that. He's a, yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, nobody ever worried about most comics. You know what I mean? Oh you know, yeah. You know, like Ralph. No one thought Ralphie May was gonna steal anybody's <laughs> girlfriend. And Ralphie's were, a fr- Ralphie's a friend of the show. Yeah. So where yeah. you, you know, nobody thought about that, but yeah, with Dane, you go, wait a second. I used to say, you know what, the comics shouldn't be good looking. I mean, comics yeah. are supposed to be the last vestige of ugliness where you can yeah. succeed. So yeah. deprecating, right? Like, yeah. just there. You, this guy's yeah. made out you with what? Feel. Jessica Simpson, Jessica Alba. Allegedly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well and some, anybody got paid, too, to do that. How about oh, that? I, oh, I know. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. some life. Yeah. And so, I mean, but you ah. talked about all that. I mean, look, as a comic, you got to run around and travel anyway. I mean, here you are in Seattle. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. that was grueling, even for you, for the average comic to have to yeah, do that. Yeah, a lot of time in airports. And, and so, it, you know, it, it strikes me as odd when, when people complain about the, the delays at the, at the airports. Or, the, or you see the, the news there. The news interviewing the delayed, like they're Cambodian yeah, yeah. refugees, like like they're, <laughs> like they're orphans, and they're just so ready to, to whine. Just oh, we we were on the tarmac for two hours, and, and <laughs> all we had was everything. That's yeah. all we had is every snack, every beverage, my iPod, my laptop, my cell phone, thirty six channels of Directv. <laughs> we were forced to survive with a better cable package than I have in my living room for yeah. two hours. <laughs> and then they go back to the anchor. He's horrified. Oh, what a story down at the airport. Our hearts. Go out to them and their families. When, ladies and gentlemen, once again, our top story tonight white people inconvenienced. Yes. <laughs> yes. Delicate white people forced to wait several hours before embarking on their six week all inclusive cruise of the Caribbean. That's uh, just how white folks will do you. <laughs> I want to. Uh, hey, can we get that Ricky? Do we have that Ricky Gervais audio? If we can find it uh, and then the Mel reaction. Only oh, because, okay. I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to. And, and Gary, I, I want to lead you into one of, I think, your greatest pieces you ever did. But we'll do it once we get the audio. 
audio. Oh, okay. You'll hear it because it'll be. It's about Mel Gibson, and I and I oh. remember seeing a piece when you guys talked about Mel back in the day when he. Yeah. And but we'll play the yeah. audio because it was brought back up again at the Golden Globes, kind of, sort of. Oh, really? And he's got the movie Edge of Darkness. Yeah, this yeah, week. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and 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 it's it's one. I mean, when I saw that piece you did, it, it's just brilliant. I mean, it really, really is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. You know, and it it's is nice to some, call it a piece. Yeah. Well, you know, it's without just without a s. Yeah. Afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so let me play this audio. I'm humbled. Thank and then you. I will let you naturally go into a <laughs> a, uh, a spontaneous thought about Mel Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll work on it now. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Do right, you need so, a pen? So I, <laughs> That's awesome. I really love this. I mean, I thought Ricky Gervais was great as the host of the Golden Globes because, man, I mean, he just didn't care. He just did great material. Uh, and he was drinking, or at least made it look like he was drinking. He had a beer in front of him the entire time oh, on the podium. Crazy. And here's how it went down uh, as he was about to introduce the next guy. How you doing, all right? Cheers. Uh, <laughs> I've had a couple. I'm not going to lie to you. Now listen up. Um, <laughs> I haven't offended anyone. I didn't mean... It's not my fault. It's a lot of powerful people here, so if I said... It's... <laughs> Honestly, I like a drink as much as the next man. <laughs> Unless the next man... It's Mel Gibson. <laughs> Listen to Mel's response, though. Oh, that's great. That's so funny. Oh. All right. All right. I'm here to talk about and, oh, and the look on his face was like, did you just do that? Oh, good for him. It was it was classic. And, you know, it is interesting. I, we've we've heard Mel talk, and he's he's come out in defense of Tiger Woods, and I'm like, boy, you know, Tiger probably doesn't want you to do that, Mel. No. You're the last guy he wants to oh, defend seriously. you. He's going, you got And it really sounded like Mel was talking about himself as he was talking about Tiger. Why do you give the guy a break? People make mistakes. I mean, you know, he was just, <laughs> and you go, all right, insert the word Mel for the word Tiger. Yeah. Uh, and, and, oh, but, it's so funny beautiful. he did that, too. Yeah, he really and he still doesn't sound like he's taking accountability for what he did. He almost gets mad when people kind of bring it up in any way, shape, or form. Oh, and, yeah. one, and one guy brought it up, I thought, in a really nice fashion. Where he, was, he was saying, hey, listen, you know, he was saying, so how is it to come back from a tough situation? And he he sort of vaguely brought it, but he didn't want Mel to go into it. Just said, hey, how are you doing? And Mel's just, what are you trying to do? You trying to be funny? You want to bring back the past? And, oh, God. Yeah, uh, it was, I don't think Mel's completely healed. From yeah, all this. yeah, he's, wow, that's surprising. And, and, and Gary, you are Jewish, so I mean, you know, I mean, it's perfect fodder for a guy like you who's a comic to be able yeah. to go, oh, Mel's a buddy of ours. It was, uh, well, it was great because, you know, we're, Jews are paranoid. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we, have, we have a right to be. We've been in a couple of pickles over the years. I don't know if you read history or anything like that. I got so. a pickle for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, by the way, the yeah. best word you could use because yeah. pickle has been the that's action the word of the, of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. That was yeah. from this guy. Yeah. 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 I got a pickle for you. There you go. I got a pickle for you. <laughs> Double R. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, I think I remember reading something, I don't know, maybe a page about it, you know, in history. I, I guess, yeah. you know, there's been some tough times for, for the Jewish community. Yeah, so Mel, Mel got arrested, you know, for the drunk driving, and, and he blamed the Jews, which which I've, we've been blamed for a lot of things, and, and uh, his drunk driving arrest. I, I normally go with, uh, I'm on some cough medicine, or I only had one beer, and he's, <laughs> and he's like, effing Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Jews, they they start all the wars, which is which is false because uh, you know we didn't start the Peloponnesian nor the nor the Russo Sino War. No, <laughs> and, and he he was in uh, the Patriot, right? So I, yeah. he, we didn't start the Revolutionary War. He should know, he should know that. And uh, oh, and we didn't start any of the uh, six Star Wars. No. Those were those were uh, way before our time. So. And yeah, and he, he blamed the Jews, and 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 then he and he had a movie coming out at the at the same time, which I um I decided to boycott. I'll be boycotting this one. Um, I, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it. But oh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay to see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay to see uh, the Blind Side, <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak in. I'm gonna sneak in to see uh, Edge of Darkness. I'm gonna I'm gonna Jew him out of the twelve bucks. I'm gonna he's, he's gonna he's gonna see how that works. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on ninety nine point nine KISW.